Hi gamers, SFG here, and we've got a, uh, a bit of a strange video really. This is going to be a beta update video to show us the Forbidden Gods. It's the, uh, I'm going to give some information in terms of what's going on in the beta. But as you can see, I'm not on the actual game here because the the update here is quite a, it's a huge, it's probably the biggest update he's ever done to be honest as far as the game is concerned and as, as far as scope is concerned. But it's something I can't really show in the game and I'll show you why in a second. So. Before we get to that real quick, um, I'm SFG, thank you for joining us as always. Um, yes, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Right, onto the, uh, we cover a variety of games here, but Shadows of Forbidden Gods is by far the most uh, common one. Anyway, so I'm just on the main <clears throat> Shadows of Forbidden Gods Steam page here, as you can see. And if I just click on discussions here, this is, I think, fairly well hidden. Classic. Oh, we've got a new agent idea there. But if you go on the top pinned one here, modding resources, so... This is the relevant thing here, so I'm going to click on this. It's by Bobby. Uh, and as you can see, modding resources, tiny post. If you happen to want to get involved in the, in modding the game, a guide and some examples are available in the following repository. And I thought, okay, cool, cool. I know people have been modding events, you know, happy days, that's great. And you see Gaz here has said, um, also feel free to download our event pack. Yes, I think that's an actual Englishman and Moore's event pack, I believe. We've covered that on the channel. Anyway, I digress. <clears throat> We click on this repository, and this is where we get into the sort of, yeah, we're going to continue to that external site. Thank you, Steve. So, if we look here, you can see some of this information is fairly old. Astrid, that's old, seven months ago. The Insanity mod, that's seven months ago. These are all event mods. Um, same with the, uh, where is it, this one, the license, the readme, etc. But you can see there's some things that are a lot more... Challenge Gen is a bit more new. That's something I think is obviously added recently. That's three months old. But look at this, you've got some things here that are 10, 11... 10, 16 days old, right? Now, one of those, the 16 day old one, is the events modding handbook, which we, I think, most people that are interested in that are already doing so. Uh, but this is what's really interesting. There's a long story short, as you can probably tell if you're sort of um, comfortable with this programming language. The next update, and it's in the beta right now, Bobby's implementing full. I think it's called C sharp. I know it as C hash. <laughs> That's because I'm, you know, <laughs> is it C hash or C plus? One of the two. Anyway, um, because I don't know what it is, right? But yeah, this C sharp modding and basically it allows you to mod anything and everything with the game, right? And I mean anything and everything. We're not just talking events and the limitations they impose. We're talking gods. Uh, in fact, I think the bug god that's also going to come next, that's going to be the next god release and the last god release, I think, of this wave. Um, well, certainly of the you know initial gods, if you like. That's going to be an example of a modded god that you can literally kind of copy, take, change things with, tweak things as you see fit. And this is access to anybody who wants to have a go with it. So if you guys, I'm sure there's plenty of you there who are much more intelligent than I, want to have a go at this, please do take a look because it's very, very interesting. I'll give you some examples here, we'll just click into. So there's a dis there's a mod here that's effectively a, a, a very brief, I think, but a, an example mod that he's added here. There's This is in the C sharp minimum worked example, and it is minimum, I suspect. There's uh, the assembly that I believe is again useful for sort of decompiling things. I can't look at that here uh, on this web page. But then there's this C sharp designer PDF, and this is the meat and sort of potatoes really about how you go about doing this. It's only a brief handbook, three pages, but I think it gives you the sort of the, the intro, what well, it tells you here, look, C sharp assemblies allow nearly every part of shadows to be modded and how custom gods, agents, challenges and other complex content can be added. It's crazy, right? So, and this, I know it's only three pages, like I said, it's a very brief document, this, but it gives you an idea about what you could do with this tool. Oh, it's a couple more pages by the looks. Yeah, so it's five pages. It'll tell you how to do um, the very basics, I suspect. If you join the Discord, there's a lot of chat on this. Uh, and actually, I'm going to pull this up on screen now because there's a couple of individuals that are doing some great work already on this. Um, first, let me just make sure I get the names correct here. So we have the Fisher Knight from NPC, and I think he's called the knight, it was going to be a fisher knight god, I think that's Arthurian legend, the holy grail and what have you, but he's called them Ixthus now, um, and just look at this, look at the artwork, fantastic, uh, that creepy character with this like king with his eyeball cup and his tentacles, 
I love it. Well, I love it so much. As you can see, I use this for the uh, for the thumbnail. Um, and I'm just going to give you. You can see there what it says about this uh, about this this god. Um, the idea about giving like these grails around eternal life that heroes and rulers can drink from, and then it curses them. They've got immor they've got immortality, but they lose their humanity every time they resurrect, which is really, really, really cool. Right? It's a trope. It's a, not common, but it is a trope. It's been used before. I mean, Game of Thrones famously did it, um, but a fantastic trope. And the the person who's creating this NPC has shared some of their. I'll put them up on screen actually. Some of their powers and things they made, and it seems to focus on unrest. Um, and danger and some of the mechanics that we don't use too much in the game as, as, as it is right now so super excited for this super super excited for this um, we've got uh, then we've got another god that's being developed called Kishi the Jagged Tide you can see them on the screen now and I love this actually this is by a poster Cool. do bear with me. I have got the names Dupliss, who's created this one. I did ask their permission before I posted this, by the way. Uh, got the gamers just saying, so you know, I'm not just stealing this. <laughs> I have asked them. <laughs> um, and none of these are available just yet publicly. They're still developing them, but I mean... So Kishi, to, to sort of give Dupliss his due, is effectively... I think from what I gather, it's basically corn. If you know your Warhammer Lord, it's the god of... Um, You'll probably tell me off for saying this, apologies, Dupliss, but it's sort of the god of bloodshed, the god of uh, war and murder, right? So I believe they are going to have a unique um, modifier that they give heroes or potentially rulers, I guess, but it's like basically they've done murder called Bloodstained, and you can use that to fuel various things that help you win the game. They've already done the supplicants, there'll be a picture of them popping up at some point. Uh, as you can see, so or they're certainly working on the supplicants. So look at this, you've got unique agents, you've got unique gods, you've got unique... Well, you'll see in a second now, the last one, unique challenges even. So the final one is by Wonder Blunder, and they're creating the Fisherman, which is a unique agent. I think they're probably also working on a god and no doubt some other things, but this is the thing they're working on just now. Wonder Blunder's done an excellent event uh, set by the way that you want to check out it's only for she who will feast the starting god but it is fantastic it's uh, it, it's it feels like a part of the game the art is so good the text is fantastic it just feels you wouldn't know it was a mod honestly um, the only thing probably negative about it is it appears quite often perhaps too often but it's it's really really good guys you should check that out um, in fact I'll put a link in the description uh, to that, so you can check that out at your leisure. But yeah, the fisherman that Wonder Blunder's developing is an agent designed to work specifically with deep ones, which we're kind of lacking at the minute, which makes sense, right? So I'll just quickly read the text here. The fisherman, a battered ship, silently emerges from a passing storm and drifts into the docks. Its lone occupant walks ashore, drenched in seawater and muttering endlessly to himself. Behind him, the ship gently rocks in the waves, waiting to unload its cargo onto the unsuspecting populace. I suspect that cargo is something bad, <laughs> by the way. So maddened by an encounter at sea, the fisherman is an agent that specialises in aiding the deep ones. While in the ocean, he gains an extra point of movement. Just such a unique, cool... I, I love this. I love this. And it gives so much flexibility. For me, personally, and I think probably most people... Um, if you're enjoying Shadows as it is, this the new modding tools just open things up infinitesimally, right? You, there is no end now to the amount of possible content that we can consume with this game. And hopefully, should quite a few people get interested in the game and it grow and grow and grow, that modding community will become not only more obviously larger, but it will also grow more. Um, they'll learn new things, they'll become basically, I suppose, more um, skilled. At modding and they'll make even better more complex mods you know it's well let's be honest we're going to see some a couple of things are guaranteed right we're going to see some sort of anime mod right it's standard <laughs> um, and we're going to see i think uh, all the warhammer main chaos gods are probably going to be putting as a minimum you know nurgle corn zeech uh, sanesh they've i would have thought in some form or another um but I just love what these guys are doing, you know, what these three heroes are doing here. So um, thank you, NPC, Dupliss, and Wonder Blunder for starting this off. But long story short, the reason I'm making this video, guys, is to hopefully, one, get your hype for this, because I think this is very, very, very exciting stuff. If you're not, if you're sort of sitting on the fence about buying Shadows, 
hopefully, and I mean this is going to pretty much come with release in terms of full, you know, once it's an out of beta basically, but I think this would maybe push you over the edge. If, as I say, I genuinely think the content is going to go through the roof for this game and I'm really excited to see what people develop. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing, so if you know, if you get hyped for this, I think it's a very exciting development, but the second thing is, um, if you've got any skills, or if you're interested in making your own god, or you have the time, or you've got some sort of flash of inspiration, or if there's something that you'd like to see in the game that you don't currently have available, maybe look into getting it on there. I promise I'll try and cover as much of this as I can, as I've done today. Uh, as mods are released, I'll try and cover them in some detail so we can go through them. Apologies that this isn't a uh, Let's Play, an Ophelium Let's Play, guys. I've, uh, I'm going to have a... I'll be doing that again on Thursday. I thought this is important to get out. I really wanted to tell people about this. Uh, I was quite keen to do so. So um, apologies about that, but hopefully this is worth it. It gets you excited. As I say, for me, this is quite literally the biggest. This update is really, really going to make the game, I think, grow arms and legs and tentacles and everything else that deep one, <laughs> that um, <laughs> old ones grow. But you know what I mean? It's going to expand so massively, potentially. Um, so yeah, get excited guys, if you've got the skills, have a look, see if it's something that you'd be interested in. I'll pop a link to that uh, document that Bobby shared, this one that we've, that we've got on the screen now. Um, I'll put a link to that as and when I can. Sorry, in the description, forgive me. Uh, so you can take a look at this, just this one here. Um, and yeah, hopefully I will see you. The next video on Overly Playthrough will be on Thursday, I'm going to do it then. I believe I should be able to get back from work okay. So. I'll put it on the community page anyway, as always. Uh, thank you ever so mu much for watching, um, as always, as well. Hit the like button if you like this video, um, it does help. If you really like the video and you like this sort of content or you're interested in Shadows or any of the games you cover, please do think about subscribing. A lot of my viewers aren't subscribed, um, which, you know, is, is fine, but it doesn't cost you anything. It really helps the channel out, guys. Um, and yeah, if you'd like to support the channel further, there's various ways to do so that'll be in the description. As always, I will hopefully see you on the next video and thank you very much for watching.